From the dawn of the human race, cornhole was man's pastime, and a set of cornhole boards man's best friend. The rich game of cornhole originated with man in Africa, and was known to its earliest players as <laughs> Its early history was well documented in cave paintings and in artistry in the tombs of the pharaohs, such as these specimens preserved by the World Cornhole Historical Society. Adults and children alike would brave the scorching heat for hours per day to maximize their cornhole play before the fading of the sunlight. Cornhole's popularity spread with merchant ships across the Mediterranean, landing in Italy around the same time as the infamous Black Death pandemic in 1347. Because of the shortages of food and other supplies, as well as the general panic that the disease caused, the Italians had a hard time finding material to craft the bags used to indulge their newest obsession. They resorted to using the one resource that was always readily at their disposal, rats. Their new bag tossing phenomenon spread like the plague through much of Europe. Another important stop on Cornhole's historical world tour was Germany. Upon discovering this exciting new game, the Germans stocked cornhole boards in every tavern and beer house in Deutschland. They called it Teschein Richstechen, which when translated literally means put the bag in the hole. The games tended to be rowdy, and as the night went on and the drinks flowed freely, were known to devolve into participants chucking pretzels across the hall instead of bags. Cornhole finally found its way to America, landing in the Midwest as its bags flew through the skies across the world. The surplus of corn along its bountiful plains provided a perfect filler for the bags that they used in their heated competitions, and also lent the game its beloved name that we know today, Cornhole. America. New reunited with its distinctly American name, the bag-tossing game found its way to the beautiful Hawaiian Islands, where its new Americanization was promptly thrown out the window. The norms of the game were very simple then. The higher the bags were thrown, the more prestige was bestowed on the thrower upon the bag's landing, provided, of course, that his accuracy was not wanting. Because of this new style of play, the game became affectionately known throughout all of Polynesia as Eke Nat P, or Rainbow Bags. Finally, Cornhole made its way to Australia. The denizens of the Outback greatly enjoyed this new game, although they soon learned that it could not be played with boomerangs instead of bags. It spread quickly throughout the land down under, but not without difficulties. Players frequently had trouble with venomous snakes, big hairy spiders, and belligerent kangaroos. But the biggest problem was the aliens! Around the corner, I thought I'd seen you. Thought you were looking for me I thought I'd reached you I belong in Some other feature Someone who reached in You love to leave me And I can't get out of this Distress, it circles in my mind And everything is just a mess, but I